My name is Raquel Choa. I am 40 years old, a housewife, and a mother of eight. Thank you. Thank you. Back home in Cebu City, Philippines, they call me the Chocolate Queen. I thought it was because I make the best chocolates. They tell me, then I realized it was also because I defied so many conventions as a woman and as a Filipino. Let me tell you how my affair with chocolate began. It all started in a secluded mountain where my parents separated and left us. That place was totally different from the city where I came from. Food was different. There was no electricity. I'm scared. I cried on my first few days. Living was not easy either. At the tender age, with no bathroom, no washing area, I washed clothes in the river, gather dried banana leaves, coconut shells, trim trees, to make charcoal, and a lot more. By 6 p.m., all of us should be in the house. So we want to find the spirit who our grandmother believed they passed by our house at that hour. Also, we gather for our traditional evening prayer. Besides, it was the 80s. And many of the rebels hid in the mountains. Sometimes, we would wake up at night to the sound of guns firing. The government troops clash with the rebels. It's so scary. At night, with only kerosene lamp, we would prepare what we could eat and sell on the next day to school, seven rivers away from home. We would barter this with school supplies or even cook rice with our teachers. Sometimes we sell some for a few pesos to buy kerosene, sometimes salt and dried fish. It was different. It was difficult. It was terrifying. But life had a way of comforting us, especially with my grandmother. Tell us stories about Maria Cacao. The legend says, she is the queen of the cacao forest. Maria Cacao harvest the cacao, load into her ship, travel to the rivers. Remember the seven rivers where I cross every day before going to every day going to school, and that where Maria Cacao also passed by, and then to the open sea. The legend also says. Every time Maria Cacao docks, her ship turns into golden, into gold. That magical story 
of Maria Cacao planted something in my heart. Just like my grandmother taught us how to prepare a hot chocolate drink made from tablea or pure cacao tablets. This love for cacao remained in me even after our parents got back together and took us to the mountains and brought us back to the city. It's sad for me when I see, when I bid the mountains goodbye. There in the city, life was even worse. I became a house help. I wash clothes. I also sell, sold candles, flowers in church. I experienced sold meat in the market. And I pick up garbage. I once a garbage collector. And I'm happy to sing at my back. It's not a garbage anymore, but it is part of the decor. Thank you, whoever designed this stage. I was 14. Then two years later, I got married. I was 16 when I got married. Then started my family. All those years, and I poured my energy to my husband, and to my eight children, my grandmother's teaching and stories never left me. One day, just like finding a treasure in a box, I remembered my grandmother's tablea. I learned that chocolates are made from cacao beans. It's a discovery for me that, hey, the cacao is the main ingredient of chocolate. As I discovered more creative ways to make the most out of it, I rediscovered my dream. That passion and curiosity of chocolates give birth to what I have now, the chocolate chamber. And that's one of my store. Together with other trade names, Ralph Gourmet, which is the mother of the company that produces artisanal chocolates from homegrown cacao beans. Casa de Cacao, where I lived before, and that's our house that it turned into Casa de Cacao where we hold chocolate appreciation tours and the chocolate chamber boutique that is in the pictures, our chocolate retail store. This passion spilled over to my children and that is one of my children, he's my number four. His name is Jonathan. Today, they take part of the business and share the joy I have found in chocolate making. But it didn't end there. As I discover more and more about chocolates, learning new techniques to transform from harvesting to fermenting to drying, then roasting to shelling, grinding, molding, and blending with other ingredients, I realized I could fulfill a bigger purpose, and that is to help elevate Filipino chocolates and put my country into the world map of chocolate making. I remember one of the journalists asked me, what is your vision and mission? And I said, I don't know what is that mission and vision, but the only three thing when, he, when she told me that, it's like, what is your dream? And my dream is, I want to tell the whole world that we Filipinos knows how to make chocolates after all. Mm -hmm.
Thank you. And this advocacy allowed us to share our creation, my creation with these world leaders that happened three months ago in our country, like those who visited my city for the recent APEC summit. And I am one of the itinerary. itinerary. Despite these opportunities that have earned admiration, my time with my grandmother, who showed me what I now realize was a beautiful world of work, reminds me always of the people who toil the soil that nurtures the cacao. I am a cacao farmer's. I once live in a mountain. I am a farmer. I am a farmer. I thankful to be able to share my blessings with all our farmers into the mountains, including the rebel returnees. And he is one of the rebels returnee. He's the one who take care of my cacao farm giving jobs to many including those who are have not finished college why because me too i never finished college imagine i was 16 years old and i get married never undergone proper training until today i never study how to make chocolates i believe this is my calling I am an old soul. Despite my newfound knowledge, I, do, I still choose to do things the old way. I believe my grandmother is now here with me. Believe it or not, I do not watch TV or use computer. I don't know how to email. I don't my business partner even manages my social media for me. So think twice before sending private messages. <laughs> it must have been this value that makes me preserve the tradition of drinking hot chocolate while introducing new ways of appreciation of chocolate. Friends, this is my affair with chocolate. This is where I live my dream. This is where I found meaning that life is so beautiful after all. I am Raquel Choa. I am 40 years old, a housewife, and a mother of eight, and a proud mother of eight, and that is my children. They call me the Chocolate Queen. Thank you so much.